16 Things That Hurt Your Dog Emotionally As intelligent animals, dogs are capable of feeling a wide range of emotions. They can be happy and excited, but they can also feel sad and hurt. There are many circumstances that can crush a dog's spirit. In this video, we're going to discuss 16 surprising ways you could be hurting your dog's feelings. 16. Calling them something they don't like can make dogs confused and anxious. They get excited when you call them out because they expect attention or rewards. Make sure you don't use a command to punish your dog, as this could negatively affect the relationship you have with him. 15. Moving away is harmful to your dog. When he tries to get on your lap and give you kisses, constantly pushing him away or ignoring his attempts to get attention or affection can hurt your feelings. Before you push your dog away, think about how you would feel if someone you love pushed you away just because they wanted to be with you. Remember that by constantly ignoring your pet you are not only depriving them of affection, you are also going against their nature. Isolation from your pack, you in this case, will eventually result in depression. 14. Tease, pull your dog's tail, blow their nose, let your kids ride a big dog, scare them in their sleep, offer them a treat, then tug it away. These behaviors confuse and agitate your dog. Moving a plate of food around while they eat, pretending to throw the ball and then hiding it behind their back, and playing keep away without ever letting the dog have the toy is not fun for your pet. Remember, what's fun for you isn't always fun for your dog. It's better to look for other ways to have fun with your pet. 13. Ignoring the little things like skipping your dog's heart warm meds, ignoring endless scratching of the ears, paws and face, which can signal food allergies or fleas, allowing their nails to grow too long and trapping them around the house, not checking their ears looking for mites or infections, even when they repeatedly shake their heads. These are things that can harm your dog's well-being. Remember that your dog is so much more than just a cute little animal to play with. He is a living being who has basic needs to stay happy and healthy. 12. Removing food or treats while eating, for most dogs, eating is an intimate moment and they prefer to be left alone. When your dog is eating, respect their space and leave them alone. Interrupting or teasing your puppy during mealtimes will agitate him and lead to stress. It can even force your dog to eat too quickly. Minimize handling dishes and let your dog enjoy his meal. A quiet, calm space allows dogs to eat in peace. 11. Dogs want time to explore and sniff during the walk, as well as do their business. Preventing the dog from stopping during the walk is cruel. It's like someone taking you to your favorite store but not allowing you to stop and look at things. 10. Ignoring the pain of dogs is a serious mistake. Dogs don't speak our language, so it's often up to owners to decipher clues about their dog's condition based on physical and behavioral changes. Whether it's an eye irritant that causes frequent blinking or an injury that has your dog licking an area of their body repeatedly, it's up to us to recognize the subtle signs and give them the help they need. Monitoring your pet's well-being means being a pain detective to know when something is hurting your dog. 9. Punishing a dog by hitting them, throwing things, or hitting and scolding them tells your pet that you are angry, but they will have no idea why. Rubbing their nose in their pee or poop when they've had an accident will leave them petrified and confusedly angry. It doesn't teach your dog to behave, it simply teaches you to be afraid of you. Punishing your dog breaks the bond between you and your pet, leads to hurt feelings, anxiety, and a lack of trust. One of a dog's basic needs is to feel safe and secure in his home. 8. Not providing mental stimulation is harmful for your dog. A bored dog is an unhappy dog. Humans have many options for entertainment, but your dog is limited by the environment he lives in and the entertainment you provide. This means that it is the owner's responsibility to provide mental stimulation for their dog. Try walking your dog more often or offering interactive toys that will keep him busy while you're away from home. Consider enrolling your dog in dog daycare and make sure he has access to a window to see what's going on outside. 7. Being left out when friends come to visit dogs are very social animals. Keeping them in the yard and ignoring them when your friends come over is like solitary confinement for your dog and leads to heartache and anxiety. By letting them out while your guests are there, your pet will have a chance to bond with their friends and will also learn to get along better with new people. 
6. Force them into a situation they don't like, dogs can have specific fears about the strangest things, they can be afraid of thunder, skateboards, fireworks, vacuum cleaners or even dominant dogs at the dog park. If it's an event you can't avoid, like thunder, the best thing to do is be there for your dog and let him know you're there. The worst you can do is make fun of their fears. 5. Not providing enough time to play is a mistake. Patting your dog on the head half-heartedly as you walk through the door with an armful of groceries isn't going to cut it. It's important to set aside dedicated time one-on-one, -on -one, no matter how busy your life is. Prioritize time to do something your dog enjoys, whether that's 20 minutes for a nice nighttime walk or just a cuddle time on the couch. A dog's level of happiness depends on the attention he receives from his favorite humans. 4. Dogs are afraid of loud noises of any kind, such as vacuum cleaners, thunder, motorcycles, and screaming is another noise that makes them anxious or scared. New research has found that yelling has long-term negative effects on a dog's mental state. Most of the time dogs don't even realize why you are angry and yelling will not teach your dog to behave but will lead to stress and anxiety. Dogs need boundaries, but you'll have more success encouraging good behavior in a calm, reassuring voice rather than scolding them when they misbehave. It is important to remember that training your dog should be done in a positive and gentle way so that your pet can learn in a healthy and happy way. 3. The docking of ears and tails may seem strange, but this is exactly what some purebred dogs undergo shortly after birth. These procedures are usually done to keep up appearances, such as making dogs appear tougher or more aggressive. Regardless of how you like the appearance of a dog with its ears cropped, this procedure should never be done, as it causes pain and trauma to animals. Unfortunately, ear cropping is still widely practiced in the United States, with an estimated 130,000 puppies having their ears cropped each year. It's important to remember that dogs should be valued for their personality and character, not their appearance or human-imposed standards. 2. After having a baby, some pet owners end up ignoring their dogs at home. This can be a difficult time for the dog, who is no longer the center of attention. It's important not to ignore your furry friend and to give him lots of attention when the baby is around. Studies have shown that dogs can make babies happier, since having a pet increases levels of serotonin, a chemical responsible for feelings of happiness and well-being in humans. Therefore, including your dog in living with the baby can be beneficial for both the animal and the new member of the family. 1. When using a pet carrier, it is important to present it as a happy and rewarding place. In this way, you provide your pet with a safe and comfortable refuge, which can even be used to ensure its safety during travel and as a hiding place in times of storm. However, if you use the crate as a form of punishment for your dog and, even worse, yell and trap him in it, you will be contradicting the idea that that space is safe and welcoming. This can cause your dog to fear the crate instead of being comfortable in it. I hope I helped with this information about the importance of caring for your pet. If you like this content, don't forget to leave a comment and like the video. Until next time, bye.